welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do, I wanted to do this video for a little while. I've, um, I've been sort of building up my luxury wardrobe um, over the past couple of years. Um, I don't have like a huge amount of frivolous cash, particularly at the moment where we're saving for a wedding. Um, and pretty much everything that I've got is going into that. Um, so these are things that I've actually bought before we were doing, apart from my wedding shoes are here as well, but apart from that, these are things that I've bought over the years that, um, you know, I've really had to save for, um, or I've bought them in the sale, or I've bought them from Vista Village, um, where they're like discounted. So there's, um, yeah, there's a few items that I kind of just want to talk through. I would love to build up more because, um, I find that luxury, whilst they're very expensive, like it lasts longer, um, my Gucci bag I use like every day and it's still in amazing condition but I don't want to talk through that too much um let's just dive straight into it because I always hate when like um when these videos have like a really long intro so yeah let's just get to it <laughs> so I'm going to start with my um Celine sunglasses so these were purchased last summer just dropping them everywhere um and these come in like a really nice case you get um a little cloth with it, of course. Um, but these are my Celine Sunnies. Now, I can't remember what style these are called. Does it say it on the side? I mean, yeah, it's got the code, but I, I'll link it below because I'm not going to read out like the long code. Um, but I am really bad with sunglasses, can we just say, because like they just don't suit my head. Hats, I can wear any hat you give me. But sunglasses, we have issues. Yeah, I just really struggle with them. And these, I'm like still a little bit like, are they too much, too big? Like, do they really suit me? I'm not sure, but I do love them. And I always feel <laughs> super glamorous, like I'm some sort of celebrity when I wear them. Um, Cause they're like really big and dramatic. Um, I do wear them on country walks sometimes, which is probably a bit ridiculous. I feel like they're more of like a city or like if you're holidaying, can, which I don't, um, but you know, I love them uh, and they're black so they go with everything. I actually don't um, spend that much on sunglasses and I'm a bit, I don't really want to spend that much on um, little accessories but these were normally like more than £300 but I got them, got them in the sale for um, like 200 and something. Um, so they were like quite heavily discounted at the time and I... Um, and I thought, you know what, I actually do really love them. And they're gonna like last forever. They're gonna, they're like a classic style that you can wear again and again. Um, so I kind of just thought, you know what, treat yourself. I actually got them, I remember now, I got them during COVID when, when I did have a bit more expendable cash because like we literally weren't going anywhere. So I thought like, just do it, you know? Like there was, there was few things to enjoy back then. <sighs> That's an expensive pair of sunglasses. But yeah, I do tend to like package them up. Um, <laughs> yeah, a bit precious. Gucci. Now, let's talk about my Gucci bag. So this is the disco bag, which I believe has been discontinued, but um, it's still on their website at the moment. So I don't know whether that's just like the last batch that it's gonna go. Um, but I would fully recommend, oh my God, this is dusty. It's been in the water. Um, but I would fully recommend this bag because I just, I wear it everywhere. Again, I like, I don't save these things for special occasions. Like I was telling you, I wear the sunglasses on country walks. Like I don't care, like I need, if I need sunglasses and like, they make me feel fabulous, I'm gonna wear them wherever. So this is Gucci Disco bag. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Like looking at it in that light, I'm like, oh, I love this. I love this, like, yeah, I just love this. This is just a style that I love so much. It's just so easy to wear across across your body. You can see that. Um, or just like over your shoulder. Um, I wear it every which way. Like I say, I wear it everywhere. Um, it's just a classic. Like, when are you not gonna wear this and love this? And I have had this for, got this before COVID, so maybe three years now. And it's still in perfect condition. I just think, you know, you pay for the quality you get, basically. So if you want it to last forever, you gotta pay them bucks. Hermes, let's go on to the sandals. 
yes these are the Iran sandals now I really wanted them in tan um, but they had sold out in my size because I actually did get these over summer not this summer I think I think this was during COVID summer as well yeah just like when I had money because I wasn't doing anything so yes they didn't have the tan um, and I didn't really want black I wanted something that was more of a summer color so I went for um these peach ones and I'm so glad that I did look how beautiful they are I mean look how worn they are I, I again like if I'm gonna spend that much I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear them and I'm gonna wear them to death like until they literally fall apart um but again like I've worn these to death for two summers and they're I mean obviously the bottom's like worn but not not anything excessive like they're still still decent um, not going to need to replace them anytime soon. And they're just beautiful. Like, I just, I don't think you can go wrong with these. I just really don't. They're just one of the best purchases. And yeah, in summer, like, they go with everything. These are getting their wear, for sure. Um, and I absolutely love them. What I wanted to say before I do, um, the next two, is that when it comes to luxury purchases, um, I am quite considered in what I buy. I like to buy a cheap version first and then if I wear it and can prove to myself that I will get the wear out of it then I will buy it so with the Gucci bag I bought like a little um a small black ASOS bag um that was like 30 pound or something um and I and I wore it and I used it and I used it and I used it um and so I knew that like that was going to be a good purchase um I was going to get my wear out of it and then the same with the um, in sandals. I actually bought some cheap ones from Primark that were in a similar style. Um, they were in tan actually, so that's kind of why I wanted the tan ones. But um, but definitely don't regret that. And maybe maybe I'll get the tan ones at some point. Yeah, they I I like wore them to death. Um, they fell apart really really quickly as well. Like within two months, I think, because I'd worn them to death, they just like were gone. Whereas two years with these ones, I know they're considerably more money, but like you're going to have them considerably longer time um, and as long as you're not buying something that is going to be like a one hit wonder like I would never invest in trend pieces I want it to be something classic that I know I can wear with everything and that is going to stand the test of time and like doesn't matter what the trend is I'm still going to be able to wear it um, so without further ado I will get the yeah, we'll do my wedding shoes last Based on what I just said about the fact that I like to buy things cheap first, I have a rattan bag obsession. I have many different rattan bags. So this like wasn't even a question when I was considering buying it because I was like, I know I'm gonna wear it. It's just a case of like when I'll have enough money to buy it, like when I've saved up enough. But this is the low basket bag. I'm sure you've all seen it. So it comes with like a little thing that goes inside which makes it really easy um, to move things across but also it's like drawstring so it makes it safer um, but this is just beautiful and I wear it all the time in summer I take it and I wear it on the beach like I said I will just I'll just wear it like if I'm going for a picnic in the park or something like I'll just wear it like I don't I don't discriminate against when I wear these things. Um, I want to get my wear out of them. I spent a lot of money on them, so I'm not going to be precious about when I wear them because if I'm not using them, then what's the point? In my opinion. Okay, so final piece. I'm so excited to show you these. My wedding shoes. So I got these from Vista. So actually, before, like the moment we got engaged, I saw these shoes on Jimmy Choo, but they'd run out of my size. And I waited and I waited. I I even signed up to their newsletter to get the um to get the like when their new collections come out. So anyway, I haven't followed them long enough to know when they bring out each collection, but obviously collections tend to drop like February sort of time and then um August, September time, when fashion weeks are. Um and then I went to Vista and I was like, let's just look in Jimmy Choo because you never know what you might find. I did not expect to find them in there, but they were in there. Um, they were in a kitten hill. I was actually going to go for a mid hill. There's like a, there's a medium height, there's a kitten hill, and then there's like the even higher hill. Now I would never go for the high one. Um, it was either going to be the mid hill or the kitten hill for me anyway. Um, but they had them. They blooming well had them. 
So you tell me that that was just coincidence. I probably should have got them um, unwrapped before. I'll take a minute. Now you understand why I got the ones that I got for um, my bridesmaids and for my junior bridesmaids because that's the uh, that's the theme. But look, the heel is that not the nicest kitten heel you've ever seen? Like kitten heels, let's be honest, can be a little bit fuddy duddy sometimes in their styling. Um, but the way that they've done it so skinny and elegantly, it just yeah it's just so beautiful like i just just fell in love with them and so um obviously they were considerably discounted as well so the price i would have paid i basically paid half price for these the price i would have paid had i have had they not have sold out of everywhere and i'd got them when i saw them i would have paid double what i actually ended up paying also um sorry to just say tell me it's not coincidence in my size the only pair they had left in my size i mean thank you world thank you universe you got my back <laughs> um because i did try to find some other ones and i literally couldn't find anything i liked um and i was devastated because i thought like that's it i just i can't find what i like i'm never gonna and i just couldn't find anything that matched matched my enthusiasm for these I just think they're very me, they're very like my Essex vibes. Um, I love like glitter and sparkles and I blame my Essex ways for that. Um, so yeah, they're just completely, they're exactly what I wanted. Um, and so I'm really pleased with them. But yes, um, that's it, just five items, keeping it short and snappy. I just really wanted to show them. I really want to build up more over the next couple of years. Like I'd really love to have some more pieces and things that because they last so long as well they're things that like I'm I could pass them on to like my kids my grandkids or anything like that you know I really see them um as investment pieces so the next thing on my wish list I'm going to share it with you um give me one second but the next thing on my list is the um YSL like Eva Saint Laurent um tote bag it's a black it's a black tote bag. I wasn't sure um, whether or not I'd use it. So I bought this little cheap version, which was £11 from Primark. <laughs> we cover all cover all, um, all budgets on this channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is £11. It's like a great bag. I got this um, a few months ago, so I'm sorry um, that I couldn't share it straight away. Like it probably isn't there anymore, I don't know. Um, but it's like kind of soft, like, um, I don't know if you can see that, but like it's kind of like a soft furry inside as well. It's got like a little button to kind of keep it done up. It's got two pockets either side. But yeah, it's it's a great bag and I've used it quite a lot. So it's kind of looking like the YSL bag might stand a chance. To be fair, until that caves out, I'm not gonna just go and buy the other one just because I'm like, oh, okay, I've decided that like I will use it. I think that's a really good, really practical way of doing it because the last thing you want to do is spend loads of money on something and then not use it um, and then feel guilty that you've done that and, you know, it's just um, it's just a slightly safer way of doing it. Um, but that's all I wanted to do um, for this week's video. Um, I'm probably going to do some more of these like short snappy ones as well because um, just purely from a timing point of view, um, I don't have time to film and edit like really long ones all the time so um i do want to try and do some more of these so if you've got any like suggestions of ones that you want please um comment below or message me but for now i am going to go and get on with my saturday we've got um a country walk with some friends and then we're gonna have like a pub roast so i am very much looking forward to that um so yeah i hope you all have a lovely evening see you later